Many times, self-defense reality is far stranger than fiction. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Sydney, Australia. We're gonna see a woman bring an ax into a 7-Eleven here and just attack multiple people at random. It's gonna teach us some important lessons about awareness and knowing what is going on around you, about the range of force multipliers like an ax, about staying out of them and getting yourself out of the danger zone so that you're not a victim of violence like this. We see here this gal is coming up to the counter to pay for her stuff and we see this other gal is gonna come in here and she's got a huge ax in her hand, you know, just kind of carrying it at her side there in her left hand. And so we see this other guy's gonna come up and he's at least paying attention and talk to her a little bit. She's gonna come up and look at how close she's getting in. If you notice, she's got a knife in uh, her rear pocket there. You can just see at the very bottom of the screen. So he's talking with her a little bit here because man, what's going on? I don't know, but that would certainly make my spider senses tingle. And she just wheels back and, and hits him right in the face with it. Hits this woman in the back, hits her again, and then runs off. Now there's more in the news story in the description. Uh, that's actually, you know, it's curated on our website, linked to the websites in the description about how they caught this gal. But let's go and, and learn some lessons here in, uh, you know, and see what's going on. First of all, we see this gal walking in and situational awareness is important. You know, I don't blame this woman with the dreadlocks on the right for not seeing everything that's going on, but I know that I really try very hard when somebody's in my vicinity to at least look them over and look at their hands. You know, they say the eyes are the windows to the soul, but the hands are the windows to the intent. So if you'd have seen that ax in your hands, it should have just set off major alarm bells in your head. And this guy's at least talking to her here and kind of seeing, hey, what's going on? And one of the things that I notice is that if you look, he actually reaches out, looks like he touches the ax there. So he's aware of it. And if you see that boy, don't stay in that kind of danger zone. Would have been okay to just put that, you know, whatever he's buying down and get the heck out of that danger zone. But because he wasn't paying attention here, or he's kind of, you know, like, it's okay. Look, at he looks away and all oh, the look, I got to go and do my business, puts himself at incredible risk. Now, I don't know if he saw that she had a knife on her too, but clearly something is off here. Had some significant mental challenges if you go read the news story again. So finally when he goes away, she's going to pull that ax back. And what you notice there is he tried to flinch. You see that startle flinch and it hit him at first in the, in the arm. And I think that hitting him in the arm probably saved his life, even though he had significant facial injuries according to the news story. But that flinch saved his life. And this woman here who got hit across the back, they said that her dreadlocks actually saved her life. That's pretty lucky there. Better off to have not been hit in the first place because you saw the problems coming and you got out of the danger zone. But now we got to think about here after the fact, like, whoa, what's going on here? And as a bystander here, your first aid skills are incredibly important. Probably going to use them more likely in a car wreck or other kind of medical emergency before an attack like this. But I think having first aid skills, incredibly important. Having awareness skills, not, not ignoring your creep alarm, also incredibly important here so that you don't get attacked like this and instead you cover your ASP. 